Hi, today I'm out and hunting some pigeons. See what we can bring back to the cooking table to do a little film about. So come along. Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to make uh, Calvados flambéed uh, dub breast with uh, raw fried potatoes with leek and uh, butter slunged sugar peas and also a good gravy they're going to be with the dish. So let's start with the potatoes. I've already peeled the potatoes so I will take them and I will rinse them like this here. This rinse is a real knuckle breaker, so you have to be careful so you don't get hurt while you're using it. So now we have the potato all done here. I will put uh, some water in it and we let it rest for about one hour to get the, the starch out of the potato. I have one leek that I will slice into normal slices like this here. Not too thin, should be a little bit of resistance in it. I think this here will be fine. We we'll take some. Put them here and let them get under some water. Uh, the dub breast, I will prepare them. The dub breast, I first uh, taking dry them out with paper so they're not so wet. I put some salt and some black pepper on them. Turn them on, do the other side. I will let them rest there until the potatoes have been lying in the water for around an hour to take out some of the starch in it. I also have some sugar peas. The thing I will do with sugar peas is I will take away the ends, the hard parts of the ends here. Now they are prepared to be butter slangs, so they can be a little bit of a side dish to the everything here. So let's get back in a while. So welcome back. Uh, now the potatoes are put them uh, in a colander and let them rinse off water and a uh, colander for my Swedish view is uh, Duke's log. So I put in there so I will dry out a little bit and then I will start doing the dub. The first thing we're going to do is put in two cloves of butter. The time there yeah. Take two cloves of butter. Gonna take a little bit of rapeseed oil and put the heat on. Then we get in, start to getting up to a good heat, so. Oh, now the heat is up. And then uh, a tip I always do, I always use a little bit of uh, uh, rapeseed oil and butter to uh, it's a little bit stopper to make the butter don't burn, so you can get a little bit higher. Now I see that the temper is nice. Then I take the dove, put in the dove fillets in it. And let them cook there for a while. Dove, like normal game, you should have it around uh, 57 to 60 degrees Celsius, not more than that. So I will have them here until they're done. Take away this one. Eh? Uh, I also take one garlic clove that I mashed and put in. 
take a little bit of time, fresh time, get it in as well. Lower the heat a little bit here. The reason I put thyme and the garlic in is it's going to flavor up the butter so you will have that flavor incorporated in the dub breast as well. I see them okay, I turn them around here. Now after the second turning I will baste a little bit after I take the melted butter that I got flavors from the garlic and the thyme and take it over the dub breasts, like this here. So this gravy that will be here in the pot is excellent base for sauce. That's the one we're gonna use for the sauce. We got flavors of the dub, we got flavor of garlic, and the flavor of thyme, a little salt and uh, black pepper that I put in as well. Feel the butter, butter. It's no sin checking the temperatures. You know that is right. See now we have around 35 degrees, so a little bit more. Don't forget the base. Check how the heat is. Four to five, fifty something. I need a little bit more one. Let me get something to plate them on. Check out the temperature. Now it's to be almost done before I do the flambe, so that's the reason I check it. 45, 48, 50. There's around 50 in them now, so I think that's a good temperature to put in some Calvados in it. Take a little bit of calvados like this here. Over it. And boil here. Lighter. Oh, let it burn out a little bit. Have to check so you don't burn the ceiling. Just let it burn out. So all the liquor flavor get out of it. So now it's burned out. Now we can turn off the heat here. We take the dub breasts and put them on the plate here. Now this will rest for about 10 minutes. While it's resting, we're going to do the potatoes. So, the same here. A little bit of oil in a hot pan. You can take one butter, put it in. Let it melt down. Get on a medium heat. Then we take the potatoes that have been dried out. 
we take the leak. Turn it around a little bit. A little fire alarm went off. That's the thing when you're making fire in the kitchen. Take one more of butter, a little bit more of oil. Take some salt. Some pepper. So now this we need something like, I will approximate take around five, five to ten minutes on this medium heat here until it's done. So then we come back and let's do the gravy. Well, let's take everything that's out of the pan, take it through so it will have an, the flavor that we use here. Like that. Let's get some cream. Let's get it up to boil. Don't have to get the potatoes. Stir around a little bit in them. Here, put it away. And let us boil. So, get up the boil, lower the temperature a little bit. Wanna taste it? Wanna taste here? Yeah, real nice. A little bit more cream in it. Bim. Yeah, that's good. Let's just stand there, incorporate, and then we will just put in a piece of butter before it's ready for serving. And don't forget your potatoes. They yeah, look nice here. Gonna see. Take a new pot, put up a little bit of heat on it. Take the rest of the butter, put it in. Get it melted down. Now time for the sugar piece. Throw the potatoes, don't forget that. Quite a lot of butter in it as you can see, but they are like butter slung the sugar piece. We should have a lot of butter. So, in with the sugar piece. The sugar piece don't need any seasoning. They should just be boiling around here to get the flavor of the butter and their natural flavor inside. So we're gonna check the potato, what they're doing there. Now the potato is doing fine. Almost done with the potatoes. Now they're just gonna boil down here so it get a little bit soft in the butter. And don't forget to stir the potatoes, you don't want them to burn. But I'll start looking really nice now. I think they actually start to get done now. You can feel them a little bit soft. So maybe, maybe a little bit more. You can start plating up the dish. Today I'm going to use a green plate, I think, will be fine for that one. Start put up two dub breasts here. If you want dub breasts as an entree, you should, you can do with two, but if you want more like a main course, four, maybe more. So this is done here now. I turn off, we're gonna have some sauce. Like I said, butter, a little bit of butter inside it. 
get it melted down, the sauce on top of everything. Now my wife comes here, she's a little bit hungry I think, so she will get some as well. A little bit over here. So, so now the dish is done. Calvados flambéed dark breast with uh, raw fried potatoes and uh, butter slung sugar peas. So it's something I can recommend as a good dish. Don't forget, if you like the channel, please subscribe, hit the bell icon and you will get notification when anything new come up on Kenneth's YouTube channel. And if you have any suggestions or thing you want me to do, what you like, dislike, please don't be afraid to write a comment. So until next time, take care and be safe.